Uh, we're almost at 20 south now. Um, wind is going to start going lighter like really, really soon. Uh, it's already going a little bit lighter, but it's going to start going lighter over the overnight. And we're going to have a very challenging and complex time navigating the St. Helena High, which is like the high pressure system in the South Atlantic. Um, so uh, it's going to kind of clamp down on us. We're going to have some really light wind in the forecasts um, starting late tonight um, and through tomorrow. It should be quite difficult. Um, so we got to try to get through that. So my, my router, Jason and I are, are looking at things really, really closely and trying to contemplate when to jibe and uh, some other kind of navigational decisions that are all based on weather. Um, but right now, yeah, we still have uh, uh, the big code zero up and the full main. And, uh, the, the, you know, the, the code zero is nice because you can just furl it right up and um, kind of gives you more options at night to get it down easier, I think. Uh, but a really beautiful sunset, a really beautiful day. But this should probably be my last day of warm downwind surfing. I mean... So I'm coming back up the Atlantic. So after this, it's going to go light and we're going to be, you know, going through that. And then we're going to be getting, it's going to be getting cooler here, I think, pretty, pretty quickly because we're at 20 south. Um, you know, we'll be in the high 20s and the 30s and then in the south here really soon. So um, I think this long downwind, tropical, like no shirt on. Uh, it's been like that for seemingly like a couple weeks now, but I think that's going to end really, really soon. So I'm just kind of savoring these last uh, minutes of warmth and good boat speed and good sailing. But as you can see right now, it's it's beautiful and we're still ripping along. I uh, got the hatch open there. I'm just trying to air things out a little bit. Beautiful sailing though, as we're making our way south. Go shipyard. See the moon getting bigger each night too. Uh, there was no moon until a few nights ago and now it's getting bigger and bigger every day. So um, yeah, it's probably gonna be full and like uh, should be around the 28th because I think we left on a full moon. So seven, eight days from now, that thing should be pretty full. Um, and it's kind of cool when you're out here because uh, the lunar cycle you're like all right last full moon i was leaving spain next full moon i'm in the south atlantic next full moon i'm in the south next full moon i'm still in the south next full moon i'm hopefully back in the atlantic and then i'm done so it's uh, uh it's cool to kind of break it down that way by the lunar cycle so absolutely beautiful night of sailing um it's been absolutely beautiful for days and um yeah things are going to be changing really quickly so very complex section coming up ahead and um, a lot of change coming up very soon.